After years of back and forth, Madison police officers may be closer to having body cameras. The Police Civilian Oversight Board met tonight to discuss the pilot program and the Common Council will vote on its implementation tomorrow. Armand Rahman sat down with Madison Police Chief Sean Barnes to discuss his efforts to equip his officers with those body cams. Armand? Eric, currently only SWAT and motorcycle officers with MPD have body cameras. It's the only department out of Wisconsin's 10 largest cities other than Waukesha to not have body cams department-wide. We know more about police conduct with video than we would know without. Members of Madison's Police Civilian Oversight Board met once more before Common Council meets to vote on whether or not the police department can test body-worn cameras. I think they should take in consideration mostly important or most importantly uh, what the city attorney's office had to say and I believe that they believe we have substantially complied. Chief Sean Barnes says he added to the policy drafted by the city attorney's office for the 90-day pilot program. Just because you wear a body worn camera you do not lose your discretion to make good sound decisions. I thought that was excellent point. Barnes says the cameras can help with transparency and be a tool for the department. It could also be used for training. Uh, yesterday, as you know, we had someone who was threatening suicide and our officers and our negotiators went out, did an excellent job. Maybe the process that they used during that negotiation could be used um, for training. Chief Barnes says he's heard the concerns for citizens' privacy, but he says there are spaces like hospitals where they will never be recording, and the state's public records law regulates what can be released to citizens and the media. The first question that we ask is, who is the requester? If you're in the video and you're requesting that video, you have more rights to the entirety of that video than say I do if I'm not in it. Let's get on with the pilot and then we'll evaluate the pilot and then we'll know if this is something we want for Madison or not. Barnes says he knows it's been a long journey, but he says the pilot program is a necessary step. Now, you may be sitting at home and feeling like this topic is deja vu in city government, kind of. Last April, the Common Council approved implementing the pilot program as long as the city's attorney's office reviewed it. They gave their feedback and green light, so tomorrow is presumably the final vote officially authorizing MPD to get going.